Yeah. Holy smokes, man. I have a gigantic rainbow on. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? We're at it again. It's nice and warm today though. It's like 28 degrees, so it feels great actually. It's snowing too. So just out at another little uh, local stock lake here in the interior. We're gonna target some uh, just rainbows again and there's a little bit of everything in this one. So they got some Chinook, they got the Arctic char grayling, all that stuff. So they stock this lake pretty heavily, so we'll see. Might just get some like little fish action here. Maybe a big one now and again, but we're kind of on this uh, little flat. It goes deep out over here. And then up here we're at like six foot there, four foot here. And we're at this little like edge and it goes into a little cove and drops over here too. So yeah, we're gonna get set up and see if we can play around and get some cool footage for today. Yeah. And see if Matthew can maybe smash a big old rainbow because he seems to do that often. Yeah, and also, as so. soon as we drilled the hole, there was a fish right off the bat, right yeah. there. So that's always good. We're rocking about six, six, seven inches of ice. So plenty thick. Ice is building up great. So we're going to set up and catch back with you here once we're all settled. All right, we're set up. It's always a production, getting everything going. So, you can see pretty good. Clean this hole out a little better, but should have no problem. See what's going on. Matthew's already at it. Oh man, almost didn't even need the tent today. It's so warm out. But I am going to throw some jaw jackers out because jaw jackers and rainbows work fantastic. For some reason, they like the uh, dead bait little jig there, kind of just chilling like dead sticked. I don't know why. The bigger ones just like it. But they'll cruise in the flats and come and grab them. So, I don't know. I've done really good in like three, four foot of water with bigger rainbows. For some reason, you think you'd want to go deeper, but they cruise the flats. So. FYI. So yeah. You're set up. Yeah. Matthew's going for it. Yeah. I'm gonna throw some jaw jackers out, probably just out here and out here. And get rolling here. If you get these jaw jackers wet and it gets cold, they freeze the tips. So try not to get them all wet if you can. Pop it in reverse. Throw the slush down. Say goodbye to the slush. Love this thing. Strike master, baby. Thank you, Caitlin. She surprised me with it last year. I don't know if I could go ever go back to a gas auger. Never had the battery die on me either. Even at Lake Louise. Busting through like three foot ice. 
non-stop. All right. These jaw jackers are pretty sweet. Got this little plastic loop at the end. Sometimes I'll just tie a piece of like halibut line too. If you lose these, it doesn't really matter. But I like to go kind of mid depth ish. So you hook it on there. This is your tension. You can set it looser or kind of whatever you want to do. We'll drop her down. You gotta be careful. These things will fly up, man, and smack you right in the face. That should work. Make sure your drag's good. Good to go. Oh, can't forget the bell. There we go. Go, go, go. Well, that was quick. Nice. There's a little rainbow. What? What jig was this? It was just bait. Oh, can I have this bait? A little squeaker. That. In the. Well, that was quick. That can I load it? it can I have? Can I hold them? Sure. Okay, let me see. Here, back up a little bit. Nice. Have a little drink. <laughs> yeah. No, let him go. Just let him go. Oh, well, that was quick. Yeah, nice, that dude. I always like to make sure the jigs are sitting it's a little heavy with the shrimp, but pull the knot back instead of just sitting vertical like that. Try to at least pretend it's sitting horizontal a little bit. So this is the line I use, my halibut line for the same like jaw jacker loops. I think, oh, got one. That was quick. <laughs> little coho. Coho? Oh my goodness, here I'm gonna let him go. Alright, bye. Do I have one? Yes. Well, this is crazy. <laughs> That's another little coho. Well, That's a decent one. A little rainbow! Nice, dude. Fishies all day. You got rainbow? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice, it's, dude. Since it's my fish, I get to let it go. Okay. And just, as soon as I dropped the jig down, I didn't even okay. notice. Let him go. Damn. Ooh, bye, fishy.
wires what you're using here <laughs> but I got these little mini uh, Columbia River tackle sculpins a little bit of shrimp same blinky light setup Kodiak custom green drop down pretty much just sight fishing it's like I said it's like four and a half five foot water right here so they just seem to be kind of coming all over here we go Getting better. Still little guys, but Matthew's outside crushing it next to the jaw jacker hole. He loves fishing for his little stock trout. Ooh, there's a good one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got a. Dang, that was the biggest so far. You need help? Good one. Woo. Nice fish, buddy. Nice. I told you I've been catching bigger fish. Good My. rainbow. I just missed one just like this, too. Really? Yeah, I had him up at the hole and he got off. My. Nice fish. Thanks. Alright, let's go, huh? Yeah, I might keep fishing out here. This little jig, it's paying off. Yeah, what do you got there? A little yellow with some, what, like creamy chartreuse tips, kind of sparkles on there? Yeah. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. They just cool. kept crushing it. Well, keep going, dude. Thanks. If you get a big one, let me know. Or if you get cold, come in the tent. So, Matthew, you got a pretty nice one, probably the biggest of the day out there I just missed one if he was hooked up so let's see Let get some big mamas big mama rainbows not these little guys
Not a long one. Skinny, but long. See what I meant? You need some help? Yeah. Just, uh, he nailed it. Bye, Rainbow. Ooh, I nice. kissed it. Yeah. I keep flying. All right, well, we've been slamming these little fish nonstop. It's fun. Matthew loves it, but you can only do it for so long, right? <laughs> I like targeting the bigger fish typically, but it's also fun getting out here. So, um, yeah, I don't think you could have really gone wrong with what you used today, but top hitters for sure are these Columbia River Tackle Sculpins, I love them for, um, I mean, even bigger char will hit them. I've caught decent lake trout out with them. Um, this like natural color worked really good today. Even this guy, kind of like black with some sparkles. It's about a uh, one and a half or so, but it's got some decent weight. They're crushing that. I got a bunch of different ones, but these little guys, and then the one they've been hammering now is a white, white and red. It's kind of like my go-to colors, really. That one works really good. You can see how chewed up it is. I use this one all the time, but I don't know. I got a plethora of tube jigs over in the old tackle box. But I haven't even put in, been been putting bait on it either, and they've been hammering it. So, but obviously shrimp works good too. Just throw some raw shrimp, buy a bag of raw shrimp from like Fred Meyer or something, and throw it on there. Good to go. Yeah, it's kind of the stuff we like to use. And then the little blinky lights are always a plus too. And hang out a little bit, and then call it a day. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming your way. I got a bunch of footage from different years of fishing that I'm going to try to throw together. So I'll be putting some videos out now and again. So keep watching. Appreciate it. Well, I think that's a wrap. We're going to call it for today. We've crushed multiple stalkers in here. So I've got a couple nice decent char, a couple rainbows, maybe 17, 18 inches, maybe 20, pushing it. But so we had fun. We're going to call it a day, and appreciate you watching. I'm going to hopefully have some more videos coming with some uh, pike and lake trout and all that good stuff. So like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll have some cool content coming your way. Thanks for watching. Anderson, a.k.a. Outdoors.